What's going on guys? It is Patrick here and today I'm bringing you Twitch Plays Pokemon Emerald highlights of day one all the way up to six. If you guys could leave a like on this, let this get out to everybody else, that would be really great. Also, if you're new, make sure to subscribe for future updates. But without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the game starts out in Little Root Town after selecting our character. Now, it took a little bit of a time, but we did choose a character. It was actually female this time, and her name was A. Simply A. Upon arriving, our first objective was to set the clock. We then exited the house and met our soon-to-be rival, Brendan, and for once, he didn't seem like a complete dick. We then headed north only to observe Professor Birch being attacked by a Pokemon. We selected Torchic from his bag and we entered into our first battle. We defeated the Wild Zigzagoon and as a reward, were given the Torchic as our very own Pokemon. We named it ZYYXYY and it was given the nickname Zexy. We then headed north, arriving in Old Dale Town, and then more north into the route above Old Dale Town, where we fought and lost to our rival multiple times. Now, after a little bit of grinding, we did eventually beat him, and then we went back to Little Root Town, where we talked to Professor Birch again. He gave us some stuff, and we head out on our Pokemon quest. We then traveled back to Old Dale Town and set our sights to the west to arrive in Petalburg City, where we met Wally and our dad. Wally caught his very first Pokemon, a Ralts, and our dad recommended we head north up to Rustboro City to fight our first gym leader. We entered the Petalburg Forest and were entered into a fight against the Team Aqua member. After defeating him, we continued north up to Rustboro City and were now ready to get our first gym badge. But not exactly right yet. You see, we still hadn't caught any Pokemon yet, and Zexy was our only one. Now, Zexy tried to evolve many times, but people kept pressing B, keeping it a Torchic. So instead of just grinding Zexy, trying to make it evolve, we set off in search of new Pokemon. In this pursuit, we caught an Abra named ABFUOJKKY, who later received the nickname Alpha, a Ninkata, and our first Poochiana of very many. Now with new team members, we set out to fight Roxanne, but it did not go very well because Zexy was still our only really good Pokemon and everything else just got destroyed by her rocks. So again, we set out to catch some more Pokemon. First off, we caught two more Poochianas, rounding our party up to six. Now, the three ones that were in our team acquired the nickname The Hounds. Shortly after this, we caught a desperately needed Meryl, as it was a water Pokemon that could actually take out Roxanne's rocks. Unfortunately, due to having six Pokemon in our party, it was sent to the PC. For the first time in the game so far, we braved the PC. Nobody was released, but we ended up depositing everyone and only getting Meryl back. So we went back again, and we now had a team of Zexy, Meryl, and Apuchiana. We were now ready to get our first gym badge. Now, Meryl swiftly beat Roxanne due to having Water Gun, but at the end of the battle, forgot Water Gun for Rollout. We still had our first gym badge, though. We then headed northeast to face the Team Aqua member. In the process of reaching him, we caught a Tallow named H-U-U-T-T-T-T-T and a Wurmple named G-M-N-N-N, -N -N, or G-Man. We entered the Rustboro Tunnel and defeated the Team Aqua member, saving Pico and returning the Devon goods to the President. Thrilled, the President gave us a nav card, and Mr. Briney said he would sail us anywheres because we returned his Pico to him. With that offer in mind, we traveled back to Mr. Briney's cottage and then traversed the ocean to arrive in Dufort. After an embarrassing loss to Brawley, the team entered the cave to do a little bit of training. After some much needed leveling up, we defeated Brawley, acquiring our second gym badge. Being able to use Flash now, we then headed back into the cave and delivered the letter from the president to Steven, and then headed off to Slayport. We spent a short time in Slayport dealing with the Team Aqua members at the museum, and then headed north to battle some trainers. We eventually came across a rival where we lost multiple times. Now sometime during this, Meryl, or as many people referred to her as the Virgin Meryl, got her name changed to M dash 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 forward slash apostrophe forward slash apostrophe four, and was dubbed the nickname M4. We eventually beat our rival Brandon, and at the end of the battle, Meryl evolved into Azumarill. We then headed north up to Mauville, where we defeated Wally and his Ralts. Now, we then tried to defeat the gym, but because M4 and our still unevolved Zexy were our only good Pokemon, we had quite a few problems. After waiting out a couple of times, we headed west to get some much needed experience. Now, during this time, Ninkata evolved into Ninjask, and we also got a Shedinja. We also caught two more Poochianas, and one was placed into the daycare. At this point, we tried to change the team around by accessing the PC. This time, unfortunately, we were not so lucky and released yet another 
what seems to be a Twitch Plays Pokemon phenomenon, Fire Pokemon. We released Zexy. The team was distraught, as Zexy was probably our best Pokemon and still wasn't even fully evolved. People immediately started making fan art and memes saying that Zexy went inside Shedinja, and Shedinja was dubbed the nickname Zexinja. With the memory of Zexy in our heart, we set out to beat Watson and acquired our third gym badge. Now Shedinja got the nickname Zexinja because he actually clutched this gym for us, so he was dubbed Zexinja in honor of the late departed Zexy. Now shortly after this, we withdrew the Poochiana from the daycare at level 30. And this was very helpful to the team, so he acquired the nickname Daycare Dog. After a little bit of backtracking, we then headed north into the Fiery Path. After completing that section of the game, we continued north and headed west through the Sootfield Grass to arrive in Falaber Town. We then met Lynette at the PC and headed up to Meteor Falls, where we witnessed an encounter of Magma versus Aqua. We now had to go to the top of Mount Chimney and try and defeat Team Magma. We reached Maxi, the Team Magma leader, and M4 clutched the battle, having only 6 HP left, winning it. And that is all I have for you guys today. Now, a little bit more has happened after this, but I thought I would end on such a high note of that epic, epic victory. Um, I'm going to continue to do this periodically throughout, so I'm thinking every 5 days I'll upload a new video, and then at the end I will make this whole collaborative video, put everything together, and have the complete history of Twitch Plays Pokemon Emerald for you guys. So if you'd like to subscribe, make sure you get all the complete episodes and all that stuff. That would be really, really cool. Um, so yeah, like this video if you found it helpful, if you found it good. I'm really liking Pokemon Emerald. Like I, I didn't like crystal that much but i feel like it's coming back with emerald it's just better uh, a little bit more exciting and all that cool stuff so hopefully you guys will subscribe make sure you get all your twitch plays pokemon updates from me all that cool stuff and i will talk to you later peace out